Okay, so the next little area of my sewing room that I wanted to show you was my scissor and rotary cutter organization stand not really a stand, wall mounted unit is really what it is. So you can see I have a ton of scissors and rotary cutters and I needed a place where I could put them all in one place. Are you guys getting a theme here with all these videos that I'm posting? The way that I organize is to put all the like things in one area so I know exactly where to go when I'm looking for ironing stuff, when I'm looking for rulers, when I'm looking for scissors. They're all here in one area. So I picked up from Amazon this knife holder. It's a magnetic knife holder intended to go in the kitchen. You put all your knives on here and they stay off your counter and you don't need a knife block and all of that but I'm using it for scissors. And the reason why I loved this particular system so much is because it came with these S hooks. So the top of the S hook is squared off and the bottom is a hook and the squared off uh, portion goes over the square bar of the knife rack. And this way I can hang all of my rotary cutters your rotary cutters all come with some kind of hook or hole or something for you to hang them on. So I can hang all of my rotary cutters on the bottom and then I can put all of my scissors on top. Now this rotary cutter does not have a hole on the bottom, but it does have a metal blade. And so the metal blade is what um, magnetizes to the rod. I also have my itty bitty little uh, embroidery scissors. These Most of my scissors nowadays come from Kai Scissors. Uh, they have these really big Mama Jamma ones. I love these scissors so, so, so much. These are the 7250 SL. They're made with high carbon stainless steel. So they are heavy, still comfortable to use, but very, very heavy. And so I don't feel very comfortable putting them on the rack like this, I just don't, they just don't want to stay. So what I do for those is I actually just hang them off the edge like so. So I have a slightly smaller pair. This is the 7230. Also love these. They are the um, high carbon stainless steel as well. And it's a little bit smaller, so it would stay on here. But again, I mean, you don't want to damage the tip. You don't want to risk it falling off. So they come with these little covers and I just, again, hang it on the end. This is another pair that comes with um, a little cover and so that hangs off the edge as well. And so these, um, it mostly goes like this because I don't use that for fabric very often. And then I'll put the littler ones and then the bigger ones because those are the ones I'm reaching for most often. And I just hang them off of this little ledge that's here. And other than that, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You can see I have a lot more room for a lot more like regular flimsy nothing scissors. But honestly, the rotary cutter organization is just everything. I can leave my pinking blade on. I can leave my wave blade on, my regular blade. I can hang them all and I can see all the sizes I have. Again, all of these are Kai. This one's Kai too. I just really love their stuff in case you can't tell. Um, so it's nice to be able to have all the different sizes and all the different blades all out at once. So I don't have to change out the blade depending on what kind of project I am working on. So yeah, so that is how I organize all of my scissors and my rotary cutters. Let me know, what are you doing to store yours? A lot of people put them in drawers. Is that how you have it? I don't have a lot of drawers in here. So I don't have really any furniture other than my sewing table and the drawers in there are very small. And so I just like to keep everything in the sewing area or things that I need to sew. Everything for cutting is right by my cutting table, you know? I like to keep it all like that. But let me know. Do you have a sewing, do you have a scissor organization trick that works for you? Let me know in the comments section below. That is going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.